you can see uh, it's almost done. It's simulating um, the job and Okay, and then you hit this button here to generate the G-code. So you give it a name. In this case, I call it million bucks that G-code save. Replace it because I have another one already there. Say okay, and then. That's it. So that's how you generate the, the G code. And so, <clears throat> but let me explain it to you what we have here. So, um, we on the path workbench, so we created a job. So you create a job and then under operations um, here uh, once it's created you're gonna get a window like this it shows a stack up a millimeter all around and a refresh so here in on their output, I I select processor processor GRBL, and then here output file. You give it a name. In this case, I take that name, million box that G code, and you say save. Yes, and. Uh, and then once this is done, um, uh, tools, I select this to the end mail. Uh, you can add a tool here. You pick the one that you're gonna use. I'm gonna use the one I have there. And the work plan, that's where you put your, your different, um, different processes. So operations. So we create the mill phase and then then this file and then the packet. So and then uh, you hit this button to generate the G code. And then once you have that G code you can use the universal GCAD platform and I'm using the 2.01 and then here you go file open then million bucks GCAD open and then it gives you your I don't have nothing here open And then that's it. Here's all your G code. Uh, now here, if you want to simulate, um, you can have an Arduino Uno setup. Um, there's videos out there and YouTube to how to do that. And so I have an Arduino Uno now connected. I'm going to refresh this. I'm going to put that in. And it's flashing. And then uh, you can uh, run this. And then you'll see the simulation. And I don't have a CNC machine. Um, all I'm doing right now is setting up all the software so that. Um, 
so that I have I have um, my prep work done. So now um, I know this is gonna work. I can generate G code, and it's doing. Uh, so that's gonna take a while to do that. As you can see, it's executing the code here one at a time. It's moving the x-axis, y-axis. So if you had a machine, then this will be doing that. So the yellow thing here, it's showing how it's going to do the job. Now, um, so I'm going to stop this now. And that's it. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching and give it a like, subscribe and uh, give it some comments. If you have any questions on how to set up the software for the Arduino, I could, um, I could give you some tips on how to do that. And um, yeah, that's it. So for Yeah, so um, that's it. That's all I got for today. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.